up guys? This is Coach Donnie from Elevate Yourself. It's 6 a.m. right now, Saturday morning, and today is the Elevate Spring Invitational 2022 tournament. We got a long day ahead of us, so I'm gonna show you how I get my tournament day started if I'm playing in a local tournament. So the night before, I usually like to have everything packed and ready to go. We got the volleyballs, this nifty Costco ball cart, we got the bin with all the material, scoreboards, clipboards, all that stuff, foam roller jerseys for the team. And of course, we gotta check out the sick custom fused jerseys from All Volleyball. So for breakfast, I usually eat my McDonald's, but today I'm gonna try eating this overnight oats that I've been testing out from a local restaurant. I think I put a little too much milk in here. Look at this car, so packed. This is the life of a tournament director. Another great feeling is just seeing all the people trickle in, slowly getting warmed up. What's up, Camilo? What's up? Ready, Donnie? You want to say anything to the Colombian fans? We got a lot. Saludo a todos los colombianos y nada, representando acá al país. There you go, thank you. Hopefully you said something nice. <laughs> hey, shout out to Steven Rivas, man. So Steven Rivas is, um, he's like a long time follower of the channel and he always talks about representing Colombia. So my team has another Colombian, Alejandro's Colombian. Okay. Yeah, so Very I get cool. the Colombians in my team. Another exciting aspect about the tournament is we got raffle prizes. We got free appetizer for one team. We got free pitcher of beer, free hour of virtual golf, and a free meal from Lean Feast. So every team is automatically entered into the free raffle. We're going to announce the winners at the end of pool play and crossover today. Man, I've been rushing around, trying to get everything set up, make sure everything's going smoothly. Now I can finally sit down and focus on myself. So I'm gonna put on these trusty ghost sleeve calf sleeves. Make sure you watch my last video about my experience with the ghost sleeves because it's been an amazing product for recovery, staying warm in between games and also during games. The first set just ended, which means it's time to get foam rolling, warmed up and mentally ready to go. Can this day get any better? Yes, it can because I'm not playing. I'm just watching and enjoying the tournament and I'm gonna get some milk tea and also some fruit tea. We got some hard working ladies at the front desk that I'm gonna treat because it's a hard job. So I got four mango passion fruit green teas with grass jelly. The reason why I got four is because I wanted to treat Lyle because he's always doing a great job with the tournaments. He's our tournament director. And then there's two people at the front desk that are checking people in. And, you know, people at the front desk, they're the gatekeepers. And it's very easy to take those jobs for granted because they are very important. 
I always try to show gratitude for the people that do a good job, regardless of what level of job you're at. Plus, if you treat them nice, they're gonna treat you nicely. I'm also gonna give one of my former teammates from San Jose State this XL Go Sleeve Knee Sleeve. If you've been following my channel, you remember that my brand new partner is Go Sleeves, which is a local company that makes these amazing sleeves for calves, elbows, knees, and they're very innovative and I truly believe in their products. I've tested a lot of it and I'm just trying to spread the word. They've given me a few for to hand out to other athletes. So Kevin, so I'm looking forward to hear about his experience with the Go Sleeves. Here's our lovely front desk staff. Try to get them hooked up with some tea because this is a hard job. Luckily we have no club volleyball parents today, but we know we got we know they got to deal with them, so nice job. So they're running around trying to get the A double B division going. Now I finally get to rest, enjoy my fruit tea. And after I play, I actually like to wear the go sleeve calf sleeves. Once the sweat dries off, you can actually wear these for recovery and they really do help improve the blood flow so I can be less sore and be more ready for tomorrow. So I highly recommend getting Go Sleeves. You can use my discount code in the description box, elevate all caps to get 15% off any Go Sleeve product. All right, we officially got the Go Sleeve on. I forgot to tell Kevin how to put it on, but I think we got some really good instructions in here. Somewhere inside, there's instructions here. Yeah, step by step, pretty easy. How's it feel, Kevin? Feels good, feels good. Feels tight, snug, but uh, after a while that tape kind of uh, releases and it feels nice to kind of move back and forth. Yeah, so we'll see how it feels during the game. I'm gonna give, ask him to give his honest feedback. We just started the A double B division. Got some solid teams here. All right, I've been walking around just enjoying all this volleyball, trying to record some good footage, but I just love watching volleyball. I was supposed to sit down and do some work, but more importantly, I've been supposed to drink this guy. We got the mango passion fruit green tea, 100% sweet, gotta get some sugars to recover, grass jelly, less ice, gotta get more liquid. It's a hot day today. Ooh, that's refreshing. So I'm gonna sit down and watch Kai support his team play. You guys have been following me for a while. Kai has been my volleyball training buddy for the last couple of years. Really appreciate training with him. And also excited that he's been able to get a consistent team together. Let's see how this rally goes. Oh, a nice play. I think you guys know what time it is. Here's a hint. Usually I activate the poop program before I play, but unfortunately, I couldn't. <laughs> Sometimes you can't control nature. So even though I'm done playing, poop program will help for tomorrow, so we gotta get it going. Can't wait to take a hot bath. As I'm waiting for the hot bath to fill up, I'm gonna share with you my thoughts on how the tournament went. By the way, taking a hot bath is one of the best ways to recover for a tournament, especially when you're playing multiple days. I was disappointed with my performance today and even though my body felt pretty good, I slept really well last night and working out, I think I was just so distracted by the stress of running a tournament and then trying to manage my own team and be a leader and my performance kind of took a backseat and it really showed with my inconsistency with passing, I struggled to put balls away and jump serving, one of my best skills, I really sucked today. I think I hit probably 40% of my serves into the net and I couldn't get out any service runs and I'm usually one of our most consistent servers. When I was playing, I was not only worrying about how my team was doing and trying to make sure everyone's okay and playing their best, I'm also worrying about what's going on on the other courts. Are the games starting on time? Are people warming up and how are they playing? Because I want to make sure that everyone is having a good experience and I think that just took up too much of my mental bandwidth and it really showed in my playing. There's this one play where I just straight up let a serve drop in front of me and I rarely, I won't say rarely, I think, I don't think that, I can't remember the last time that happened. I usually at least die for it. The game plan is tomorrow I'm going to really try to be present, not worry so much about how the tournament is going, although honestly it's hard to do because 
This is part of my brand. This is my business. This is how I make a living. But I got to find a way to really dial in and really focus on playing well first and worry about other people second. I'm really happy about our team's progression with the newfound energy of coming in the middle and also adding some fun cheers. And we're going to add another cheer for aces, which I can't wait to show you tomorrow. So I'm really looking forward to getting some recovery, sleeping well tonight, and just playing better tomorrow. I'm really proud of our team for squeezing out that win against X2, which is essentially the other half of Sportcon X. And if we can beat them again tomorrow, we'll see Sportcon X in the finals and have another chance to try to get our revenge and maybe win the whole thing. So we'll see you guys in the morning.